what better place to start than actually talking about what a herniated disc actually is. So when we've got a nice healthy disc like this one here, we see that the central part, which is in the light gray, is the nucleus. That's the gel. Often in the jam donut analogy, this would be the jam. Round here, these layers, which you might be able to see, are the ligaments. And there's lots of layers of those, and they make up the annulus fibrosis, which would be the dough in the jam donut analogy. We're also going to talk about a water boon analogy to help you understand this role of the disc and how it becomes injured. Whenever we have a herniated disc, although we're going to see pictures of bulges going backwards on the MRI, it is not the bulge necessarily that's the problem, although that bulge sometimes might be hitting on a nerve. It is the fact that we have damaged the annulus fibrosis, these layers that hold the fluid in place and provide the fundamental mechanism for this disc to work. If we think about this for a moment, like a water balloon with the annulus fibrosis, these ligament bits, the skin of the balloon and the gel in the middle, the nucleus, which in this case is herniated, in the center where we've got the water, we have the annulus fibrosis holding that fluid in place. And so when we squash down on the balloon, it necessarily will stretch, just like all ligaments do. All of our ligaments, in order for us to bend any part of our spine, say the neck, for example, forwards and backwards, those ligaments must stretch and then spring back. That happens in all of our ligaments throughout all of our body in some degree or other. And down different ones are going to have different capacities for this. But when it comes to the disc, those annulus fibrosis ligaments have the capacity to stretch and compress. So when we start to have this bulging and then herniation, it is that that water is starting to escape or leak through these layers of annulus fibrosis. They've started out, some of the inner layers have been damaged so that it creeps backwards a little bit through those inner layers, but some of the outer layers are going to remain intact. And then onto this full herniation where it's completely coming out the back, we can see that all of the layers down here have become damaged or torn and fluid is moving out of the disc in response to the compression through that disc. The jam donut analogy is most easy to visualize this process as we squash or bite down on the front of the donut. We find that the jam squeezes out through weak pockets in the dough and comes out the back all over our fingers. We have to appreciate that the herniation is a point on a scale of disc damage. It can often start out as something more minor than this disc bulge that we see here and progress on to that full herniation as we continue continually do those same things that reinforce the injury in the first instance. But if we are successful and we halt that process by starting to do the right sort of things to help this disc recover, all of these disc injuries will go through their appropriate healing process.